This slide outlines the design step for doubly reinforced beam. First, you need to compute the K number and check if it is more than 0 0.167. When it is more than 0 0.167, the compression bar is required. And it is by default that the neutral axis position is within 0 0.45D so that it is to avoid sudden compression failure of the concrete. Next, you need to determine the compressive stress in the compression steel bar and calculate the required steel bar area for the compression steel bar and then calculate the lever arm as well as the area for the tension steel bar. You need to provide additional bar area for the tension reinforcement bar and also the compression reinforcement bar. Next, you need to ensure that the X is always less than 0.45D in order to prevent sudden failure of the concrete. Lastly, you will have to check for the serviceability of the member which includes the aspect of AS maximum, AS minimum, minimum spacing, maximum spacing, maximum bar size, and also the minimum size of the shearling. In comparison to singly reinforced beam, you have to check one more item, which is minimum size of the shearling. And the minimum size of shelling will be set as at least R8. The equations for you to design for doubly reinforced beams are listed here. To determine the required tension reinforcement bar area, this is the equations. Prior to that, you need to determine the AS prime first, which is the area of the compression reinforcement bar. For you to compute the AS prime, you will have to find the compressive stress in the steel. The compression steel is assumed to be yielded when the D prime divided by X is less than 0 0.38. When it is yielded, the nominal yield strength is used with the factor of safety of 0 0.87. When the D prime divided by X is more than 0 0.38, we know that the compression steel bar it has not yielded yet. In this case, the stress will behave as a linear based on the principle of strain compatibility. Your compression stress of the steel bar, FSC, will be determined by this equation. This equation is actually worked out based on the proportional ratio from the FC equals to EC and epsilon SC. For simplicity, you may straight away use this equation. As you have determined the AS prime, you may substitute the AS prime and the relevant compressive stress of the steel bar into the equation. Next, you need to determine the lever arm Z, which is given in this equation. As this K is a constant value, which is 0.167, you may use straight away Z equals to 0.82D. With that, you should be able to compute the AS required and AS prime. You need to provide AS for the tension and also AS for the compressions and you make sure that the provided area has to be greater than the required area both for the tension and compression bar. Next, you want to ensure that the X is always within 0.45D. To ensure that, you need to make sure that the reinforcement bar is always under reinforced in tension.
with that you need to make sure the additional for the compression bar is always greater than the additional area given for the tension reinforcement bar when the beam is under reinforced in tension you will expect yielding of the tension reinforcement bar and also cracking of the reinforced concrete beam prior to failure of the member with that we can visually determine that if the beam member is in good condition or not